Hi, I'm Fred Raj. In this video, I'm going to talk about Firebase Hosting. With Firebase Hosting, you can deploy your static as well as dynamic website on Firebase. And uh, it is very fast. You can deploy your website in a single line of command, Firebase Deploy, and it will glo globally cached on SSDs. And you can easily integrate your custom domain. You can deploy a website in few steps. First, you need to install Node.js and after that Node.js install, you have to run a command for installing Firebase CLI and we install hyphen G Firebase hyphen tools. And then you need to log in with Firebase account. So you need to type Firebase login command. And then after login, authenticating uh, the user, you can initiate your project uh, with Firebase. So you need to type Firebase in it. And then locally serve, you can run Firebase serve and for deployment you can run Firebase deploy command. So I'll give you the demo how we can implement Firebase hosting. So for deploying your website on Firebase you need to visit the link firebase.google.com and then you can go to the console and this is a console here you can create a project. So I'm click, uh, click on create a new project and then you need to type a project name so let's say my project name is tf firebase hyphen hosting and then you can change your project id so which will be used as a domain so you need on and you can click on continue and you can enable the google analytics if you want or in this project right now i'm skip this part and then create a project. So it will take us some time. Yeah, my project is ready. So I can go click on continue button. And this is Firebase dashboard, project dashboard. Here you can check authentication, cloud, Firestore, real-time database, storage, hosting, functions, and many more. So I'll click on hosting part. And this is a, a section for the Firebase hosting. I'm, a, I'm using VS Code Editor for writing a code and I can use a terminal VS Code Editor. So first I need to install Firebase CLI. So I'll type npm install hyphen G for globally and we'll type Firebase hyphen tools. Yeah, for, for this command, uh, you can install Firebase CLI and after installing Firebase CLI, you just need to log in with Firebase. So you need to use Firebase login command. Yeah, it will ask to uh, log in. So I'll press yes. So it will redirect to the browser. And now you need to log in with your Google account. And then you need to allow to the permissions. Yeah, that's it. So your Firebase CLI is installed successfully and logged in. Yeah, it said, uh, yeah. So your Firebase CLI is successfully logged in. Now you need to initialize Firebase project in your local machine. So you need to type Firebase init command. And then proceed and here you can select the services like right now i'm using firebase hosting you can select firebase hosting and then it will ask you can select a project so you can go for either existing project or you can create your own project right now so i'll select existing project and yeah so this is my existing project so i'll select and now it will ask to where uh, to the directory so this is the directory where you have to upload or add your index file means the javascript file html file or css file for your website so i'll type public and then it will ask for creating a single page applications so right now i'm not interested and again uh, it will ask for uh, for ci cd purpose with GitHub. so right now i'm not using and that's it so 
and this is a by default directory so there is a file uh, there is a directory in public directory where we have to file index.html 404.html so we can change it and there is another file firebase src file so this is the main file for the connecting your project firebase project and there is one more file for uh, firebase json file uh, this is a configurable file you can change it uh, according to the your requirement in firebase hosting so now uh, now you can run firebase hosting in your local machine you just need to type firebase serve and that's it so it will run locally so you can run uh, this command in your browser just need to type localhost 5000 yeah so this is a uh, running index.html file from my local machine i can change uh, index.html i can change it uh, in index.html so i can remove this file and i can write the new html5 logic and then i can write uh, welcome to firebase hosting yeah that's it and i will check in the browser i need to reload this page yeah that's it uh yeah my firebase hosting is ready and i can deploy this website on firebase for deploying your website on firebase uh you need to use the command firebase deploy so i will close this process and i will type firebase deploy So uh, after deployment, you will get the URL. So this is a main final deployed URL here. You can check your web applications. So I'll just copy and I will paste it here. Yo, my Firebase hosting is ready and I can check and I can share this URL or I can go to the project dashboard or uh, reload this page. yeah so though uh, this is the url and i can connect my custom domain by clicking this url and you need to add your custom domain and and this is very easy uh, you need to update your dns record that's it and this is a version here you can check the deployment version like right now i have deployed only website this website only one time so i can update the website as well as now I will update this index.html file to the version 2 and I will save and again we need to run the command firebase deploy for every time. Yeah, the new version is de deploy and I can reload this page. Yeah, so this is a version 2 and I will check the version release history. Yeah, so right now I have deployed this website in two times so that there is a timestamp uh, and I can check. So uh, right now my version is uh, version 2. I can roll back the version uh, this is a, one of the best thing about the firebase like you can roll back the previous version or an nth version so you need to click that's it roll back and yeah so your website is rolled back and if i click on reload button and this is it and also with firebase hosting you can host multiple website in firebase uh, single firebase project you need to click on this button add multiple project website and here you need to add domain name and this is all about firebase hosting so this is a demo part how we can implement firebase hosting so this is a very easy if you want to know more about firebase hosting you can visit the documentation on firebase and if you have any questions you can comment your questions or queries below and i would love to answer them
and you can reach out me uh, if you have any query uh, on Twitter. And thank you so much and see you in the next video.